revolution will be live. 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 What's good, Jumbo, to another Transformers Rise of the Beast reaction. We is This is the final trailer for Rise of the Beast. Rise of the Beast literally drops this Friday, bro. The hype is real. I'm hearing some good things about this one. Uh, sound like following the hype of Bumblebee, the goodness of Bumblebee, they took that and also put into this film, plus high octane action, of course. So, as people say, as those, in case you didn't watch my other reactions, I am a Beast Wars uh, OG, you know what I mean? When I came to Transform, me and my brother came to Transformers, it was Beast Wars. We watched the original, and, and well, we watched the original 80s series a little later in our life, probably pre-teen, I don't know, it was or later kid days, or like when I was like 9 or 10, or maybe when I was a teenager, I honestly don't remember. Uh, when I saw watching the 80s, but we, we, but, you know, we watched Robots in the Skies, uh, uh, followed by Armada and Cybertron, and Energon, well, Energon, then Cybertron, of course, anime. We watched so many Transformers cartoons in our life. We grew, we grew up on Transformers, you know? Uh, but I am, the Beast Wars is always my Transformers. And I've watched it recently, and it has not aged well. <laughs> The CGI on 90s Transform, of course you say it's the 90s, but the CGI on there was bad. It was it was, it was not great. It wasn't it wasn't great, you know. And they, apparently they were so at the time the CGI was so good, they kept zooming into the faces. There was so many unnecessary reasons for them to zoom into the face. They never need to zoom to the face, but hey, here we are, right? Here we go. But now we went better graphics. Now we got the Beast Wars back with better. I mean, they came back in that cart. What was that cartoon Transformers? War Cybertron was a it was like a three part mini like a three part mini series I think, uh yeah three part mini series uh and it, it was cool and it featured the the Beast Wars uh character cast in that one too, uh all except the uh, well Razor wasn't in that one so, I mean Air Razor wasn't in that one though it was uh Black Ragnia and you know, other people. No Silver Bowl. Anyway, I'm sorry. I don't know I'm going to memory lane with this for y'all. Y'all probably didn't watch. But if y'all watched that War of Cybertron miniseries from Netflix, check it out. Go check it out. Now let's stop wasting time and check out this final trailer of Transformers. And uh, roll out. Oh, shoot. We're in the middle of an ongoing war. Little drones? Oh, frick. Mm. We love that the big guys join the fight. <laughs> Whoa, who's that? Right. Bumblebee. Roll out. <laughs> wow, that was corny when I said it out loud. Yep. <laughs> Channel, you've been waiting for. Hey. You've never faced anything. Go ahead, Optimus Prime. This. Oh, God. Oh. It's about to go down. Oh, God. Mm. It's about to go down. Go down. Mm -hmm. Oh shoot. It's real. Mm -hmm. It's about to go. It's about to go. It's about to go down. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Woo. Mm. If you keep your eyes open, life will show you everything you need to know. Whoa, my God. You the cross. Ooh, okay. We find this alone or we find it together. Hmm. Ooh. Together. <laughs> Ooh. Rise of the beast. Let's go. Turn it up. Never leave Brooklyn again. Oh my gosh, this Transformers movie about to be freaking lit, boy, frick. Uh, all I know is it's good to have good Transformers movies again. We know the downhill of Michael Bay films with. First Transformers was great. Second Transformers was bad. Even though the best part of that movie was Optimus going ham 
going crazy on those motherfuckers. My boy was going crazy. I'll take you all on. Like it was that was that was that was a fire, fire, fire highlight of the movie. That was a the best that was literally the best moment of the whole film, to be honest. Uh Transformers Dark of the Moon. Not a lot of people didn't like that one. Personally, I like Dark of the Moon. I thought Dark of the Moon was actually pretty good. I mean, it wasn't the best, but I, I like the whole, you know, humans were working with Decepticons this whole, some humans were working with Decepticons this whole time. I thought that was a really good concept. Like, oh, Frank, they've been, so humans have been turned against this whole time. They, they've been, they've been, man. You know, I, 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 I like, I like Dark of the Moon personally. I like Dark of the Moon personally. Uh, four, though? Four was bad. Four, <laughs> Four was was like you know, jeez. Uh, it's like Mar- I love Mar- 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 I love Mar Wahlberg, but the daughter in that movie was annoying as frick. Y'all know it. She was annoying, and she wearing booty shorts when she ain't got no booty just for them damn shorts. Like when you wearing booty shorts, you ain't got no booty for it. Like come on, <laughs> so let's show the booty shorts just hanging, <laughs> just hanging on you. Like this booty shorts supposed to be fit, form fit. It's supposed to fit on the booty. It's not you're not you got nothing to fit on. She was just playing annoying, bro. But yeah, that movie was kind of in the whole people go like military you know, like turn against the Transformers, turn against the Autobots. Like that, I feel like that plot line came out of nowhere. I don't know where that plot line came from. I feel like that came out of nowhere. I still have, and the last stand came out. I mean, last stand, the last night came out, and I didn't watch that one. I still kind of want to watch it. I just want to really see how bad it is. Cause hey, we're getting good Transformers. So I'm gonna see that one. Just so I can then they wash the taste out of my mouth when I watch these good Transformers movies. Because Bumblebee was amazing. Bumblebee was amazing. Haley Steinfeld was awesome in that film. It really showed you the... It, it, it took you back to the heart and soul of what Transformers was supposed to be. Reminding you that Transformers are more just robots that transform and beat up people. They have personality. They have feelings. <laughs> they care about stuff, too. And they, they, you know, they have people they fight for, people they care for. But like lately, all else Transformers was, was mainly just about... Fight this, blow this up, do this, destroy that, protect this, watch out, you're going to die. It was, it, that was all other films were going to be. And, and look like they took what Bumby did and put into this with high acting action, of course. I mean, you, you probably feel the, the Maximals, feel their fantasy where they come from the situation, understand them better, and how, where their heart is in the situation. And then we, and you, feel, you feel more with them when they fight to stop, save the world. You probably feel it more. That's what I'm looking for, bro. Remember, Transformers are people, too. <laughs> if that makes sense, how I said it. Transformers are people too, man. They live, they breathe. I think I think they breathe. I know they have breath. I know they're robots. I don't really know, but they live, bro. They live. So yeah, there you have it, guys. Transformers Rise of Beast drops this Friday. The hype is real. I cannot wait. Bring on the Maximals. I'm out this thing, y'all. I'll see you guys in the next reaction. Maximals. Maximize!